In the world of Pokemon, humans and Pokemon live in peace, cooperation and harmony. They do their jobs alongside one another, working side by side. However, as it is all too frequently the case, nature can be cruel and unpredictable. And just as this is true in real life, it can also be the case in the world of Pokemon. I'm Otendo, and I'm here with the wonderful Madam Hellfire to show you seven terrifying and dangerous Pokemon, ranging for those who kidnap children to those who drain their prey's life force and other bodily fluids while they're alive. Not a very pleasant thing to hear, but it's what we're covering today. So, let's dive in. Our first one on the list is a Pokemon that is not to be trusted. Beware, number 760 on the national decks. Beware is a normal fighting type Pokemon that stands at an intimidating 6 foot 11, making it around the same size, if not larger, than the Grizzly Bear. Now you may believe that this Pokemon is harmless and adorable, but once you learn what this Pokemon is most famous for, I assure you that it is not cute. Because once you have it in your possession and it recognizes you as its trainer, it will return the love you have been giving it by hugging you. It loves to hug. Beware's love hugging so much that they never stop hugging and it is said to have an incredible amount of strength. And as a result of this hugging, well, let's just listen to what the Pokédex says. In its Pokédex entry on Pokémon Moon, it states, This Pokémon has the habit of hugging its companions. Many trainers have left this world after their spines were squashed by its hug. As stated in the Pokémon Sword entry as well, the manner in which it takes down its prey would make a martial artist jealous, therefore fighting it is futile. Beware's often wave their arms around in a friendly manner when they encounter a human, but the gesture is actually a defensive warning and the trainers ignore it, resulting it in their deaths. Because it is so hazardous, it has been dubbed the most dangerous Pokemon in the Alola region. The authorities in the area have declared all areas with Beware's off limits. So Beware's appear cute and innocent. But if you want to embrace a Pokemon, avoid a Beware. Our second Pokemon is one that should never be encountered by children, Drifloon. As the 425th entry in the National Dex, Drifloon clocks in at 1 foot 4 inches and it is a ghost flying type Pokemon. He's obviously designed after balloons, its entire body being filled with air to allow it to move about aimlessly. But it's a cute Pokemon. And this is a video about creepy Pokemon entries. You know it's not that innocent. Air isn't the only gaseous thing to inhabit its body because it's also filled with the spirits of unfortunate humans and Pokemon that have been caught in its tendrils. This becomes even more terrifying when you factor in that the victim of choice for these Pokemon is children. Its Diamond and Pearl Pokedex entry reads, It tugs on the hands of children to steal them away. However, it gets pulled around instead. As its Pokedex entry states, Drifloon dislikes overweight children, and it's because of this that it is very deliberate in the victims it chooses. Not only that, but children are oblivious to the fact that it's a danger because they love balloons and Pokemon are known to be helpful. They'll never know that they're being unwittingly taken to their doom. Drawn away by a cute balloon to be forever trapped within it for eternity as it drifts about in search of its next victim. As a result of the high number of lost children associated with this Pokemon, it's become known as the signpost for wandering spirits. It's also well documented that when Drifloon explodes, the escaping air and souls emit a horrible scream, which is an extremely terrifying thought. Next one on the list is the one and only Gliscor, number 472 on the national decks. It is a ground flying type Pokemon that stands 6 foot 7. It evolves when a trainer gives Gligar a razor fang at night time. When this happens, the Gligar transforms into a massive bat scorpion hybrid. But what does it feed on? Well, in the Pokedex entry for Pokemon Legends Arceus, it states, it glides soundlessly on pitch black wings and sinks sharp fangs into the throat of its prey. It takes on a look of satisfaction once it has entirely drained its prey of blood. 
In both the anime and the games, this Pokemon may be seen consuming many types of Pokemon food, like berries and the sort. However, in the wild, this animal nourishes itself on the blood of Pokemon and perhaps humans. The terrifying aspect of this creature is the manner in which it hunts its prey. It finds its prey using echolocation. For those who do not know, echolocation is when a creature uses sound waves bouncing off rocks to locate food or members of its own species. It flies towards its meal silently like an owl and without hesitation, it drains the prey of all of its blood and takes enjoyment out of it. It takes pride in what it has accomplished. So yeah, Gliscor, a horrifying Pokemon, but what could be more horrifying than this Pokemon? We return to the first 151 Pokemon with our first Kanto region entry, Parasect. As number 47 in the national decks, Parasect is a bug grass type Pokemon that stands at about 3 feet 3 inches and weighs in at a whopping 65 pounds. The inspiration for this Pokemon evokes an era where George A. Romero was king, an era where zombies ran wild. The large mushroom on its back acts as a parasite, one that starts out small with little Paris and once evolved completely controls its mind. Note the lack of pupils and vacant stare. In its Ultra Sun Dex entry, it reads, The bug is mostly dead, with the mushroom on its back having become the main body. If the mushroom comes off, the bug stops moving. With zombies, you remove the head or the brain and they return to being dead. With Parasect, remove the mushroom and the bug it controlled returns to being a mere carcass. This phenomena doesn't just inhabit the Pokemon world or the silver screen, it's also in our reality. Entomopathogenic fungus is a form of fungus that actively searches out insects and, given the proper humidity and temperature, enters their exoskeleton or skin and infects the host slowly. This fungus usually spreads through the air by means of microscopic spores. Paris's body has been taken over by a special fungus known as, and I'm probably going to say this wrong, Pochucaso, which is based on real-life caterpillar fungus. This fungus was employed in traditional Chinese and Tibetan medicine and is even mentioned in multiple Pokedex entries. Nature is metal as all heck, even in children's video games. Next on the list is an animal that exemplifies how brutal the ocean can be, Gorbis, number 368 on the national decks. This Pokemon is purely a water type, standing at a height of 5 foot 11 and a weight of 49 pounds. This Pokemon lives far, far below, deep under the ocean, coexisting with other Pokemon like Relicanth between the Abyssal and Hadal zone which gives you an idea of just how durable a Gorbis can be. It feeds on seaweed between rocks on the sea floor, growing a vivid pink colour around the springtime. Although with Alola as proof, its skin pigmentation becomes more vibrant depending on the temperature of the sea. This Pokemon has another, more sinister side to it, one that is more predatory. And this is what makes it so dangerous. In Pokemon Ultra Moon, it states, it sucks bodily fluids out of its prey. The leftover meat sinks to the sea floor, where it becomes food for other Pokemon. The long, thin mouth which resembles a proboscis of this Pokemon is used to attack other Pokemon, and if given the chance, a human, slurping up the victim's insides like a milkshake, and when finished, letting the unwanted portion sink to the bottom, where other Pokemon feed on them. And they say Pokemon is for kids. The second to last Pokemon we'll be discussing is Mimikyu. At number 778 on the national decks, Mimikyu is a ghost fairy type that stands at about 8 inches tall and weighs 1.5 pounds. This Pokemon is one of, if not the smallest ghost type Pokemon to date. And if you couldn't already tell, this Pokemon takes its name and design from one of the most recognizable and popular Pokemon of all time. Pikachu! Sounds adorable, right? Right? 
Oh, there's a catch, isn't there? There's always a catch. Beneath its adorable exterior and small stature belies a being of nightmarish proportions. In Pokemon Sun's entry, it states, its actual appearance is unknown. A scholar who saw what was underneath its rag was overwhelmed by terror and died from the shock. Some say it's a scholar, some say it's a trainer, and others believe it was a scientist. No matter who this poor soul was, the takeaway message is still the same. Somebody died after seeing Mimikyu's actual form. Mimikyu is acutely aware of this and makes every effort to ensure that the mystery surrounding its true form remains intact. This sort of extremes can be seen in how it takes care of the rag that covers it. If anyone or anything were to damage it at any point to any extent, it will run home crying as quickly as possible and once it's recovered, it will chase that person or thing down within an inch of its life. Like a real life raven, it will hold a grudge. An adorable Pokemon on the outside, but a terribly tragic and a lonely soul on the inside. On the topic of unforgiving Pokemon, we have the last entry, Tyranitar, number 248 on the national decks. Tyranitar is a rock dark type Pokemon that stands 6 foot 7 and weighs 445 pounds. This creature takes on a variety of versions, from its mega evolution to its relative Iron Thorns, a paradox Pokemon that formerly inhabited the world 1 billion years in the future. It is highly hostile, attacking anyone with no remorse, and in the region of Galar, it even has a rivalry with Duraludon, where they both reside on the same territory with each other and fight over who controls the mountain. It has extremely thick skin, capable of deflecting any attack thanks to its rock hard hide, and it's aware of this, which is why it acts so confidently towards its foe, even if it deems the individual unfit. This is not, however, the most frightening part of this Pokemon. In Pokemon Diamond, Pearl and Platinum's Dex entry, it states, If it rampages, it knocks down mountains and buries rivers. Maps must be redrawn afterward. This species is capable of bringing down an entire mountain and turning it into its nest. It is aware that there may be a town in the vicinity of the area, but due to its impudent nature, it does not care and it will bring down the mountain regardless. It gets even worse when you hear that when it transforms into its mega evolution, its violent nature becomes so overwhelming that it doesn't even hear its owner anymore, which is identical to how Gyarados behaves in the wild. A relentless killing machine, truly one of the most devastating Pokemon and a perfect choice for the last entry. So there you have it, seven terrifying and dangerous Pokemon. Thank you all for coming. Make sure you do go and follow Madam Hellfire if you loved her narration. Do check out her content, the channel link is down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, well, you know what to do. This is Altendo, signing out.